you can't catch fish unless you're fishing. So if you're going out here and you want to make $300,000 and you're just focusing super hard on getting the perfect technique and the right scripts and making everything all beautiful, the logos, LLC, all this stuff, you're ruining your success. Our $300,000 blueprint guide for wholesaling real estate in 2023. What is up guys, Zach in here, Rick in here. And in today's video, we're gonna break down exactly our entire blueprint for you to make over $25,000 a month, which is about 300K a year, and exactly everything you need to know about how to run an operation at that size and actually how to scale it up. So if you're doing maybe one deal a month and you wanna bring it up even more, this is gonna be the video for you exactly. If you wanna make over $300,000 a year, you can do it solo, do it with a team, it doesn't matter. This is gonna be the guide for you so you're gonna be able to do this. People charge thousands of dollars for this information, but we're gonna give it to you absolutely for free today. I've said it and I'll say it a million times, but 2023 is the year of making offers. We're gonna focus as much as we can this year on making as many quality offers as possible because everybody knows offers equal deals. So me and Zach recently created the 100 offers challenge and it's simply about making one offer a day for 100 days. But before I get into it, do me a favor. If you enjoy this content on this video, make sure you smash that like button, you hit that subscribe button to continue to get the best wholesaling information out there. So the offer is simple as this, is if you make one offer a day, for 100 days, you can easily attack the 100 offer challenge because the reality is the more you get into the fluency of writing offers, engaging your motivated sellers, the better your chances of getting a deal. So many of you are making verbal offers in your head and you just make them verbally and you never follow up and do anything like this. What I want you to do, the goal of this offer challenge is to get you to take a massive amount of action. It doesn't mean you're gonna get 100 offers accepted. I hope you do, but the reality is you make 100 offers, even if you wind up getting two or three deals out of it, or even one, you can make a profound impact on your life and make a change, but you've got to build momentum. So if your goal is to do one a day, which is very, very doable, you just have to figure out how to do the consistency piece over 100 days. And that's the goal, guys. And so you can easily make over $300,000 a day by doing one offer a day. And I can tell you in our business, we do that, but we make a lot more than 300K a year. Uh, we are in the millions of dollars every single year. But I can tell you, even when we were running operations doing half a million dollars a year or less, we still strive to make at minimum one offer a day. Now, obviously our deals were a little different, right? Because our average deal is 20, 25, $30,000. What I could tell you is if you can just strive for that, it's gonna help you so much on getting that 300K. So the blueprint is basically focusing on one really important concept and that's making offers. Remember guys, you can't catch fish unless you're fishing. So if you're going out here and you wanna make $300,000 and you're just focusing super hard on getting the perfect technique and the right scripts and making everything all beautiful, the logos, LLC, all this stuff, you're ruining your success. You have to go fast. You have to take action and break things. Go fast and break things, take action and messing up. Guys, messing up is part of the process. You will not hit 300K by doing everything perfectly. You will mess up. Do it early on and learn from mistakes and keep going after it. So by creating this challenge is we are trying to create the effect of what we call an upward spiral. You're like, Rick, what are you talking about? You lost your mind. But we all know what a downward spiral is. I don't even need to explain it to you. And a downward spiral takes no effort at all. Like there's zero momentum and it's just like going down a slide backwards. Now an upward spiral is the complete opposite. It requires a ton of momentum and inertia in the beginning so you can work your way up. And the upward spiral is one opportunity creates another one. You write one other offer, you write another offer. You finally get one accepted, you renegotiate it and positive things start happening in your wholesaling business. And the key is here is you keep building momentum as you work up this spiral. And each block builds on another one. The experiences you get from it, the more offers you write, the more chances of your upward spiral happening. Upward spiral, guys, is anything positive happening in your wholesaling business, even in your life. And it requires a massive amount of momentum, a massive amount of action. And you can reverse what most people do as a downward spiral. We're teaching you the opposite effect by using the 100 offer challenge you can easily create this momentum 
and get the desired results you are seeking. Exactly. So focus on making the upward spiral. And how do you make that upward spiral? Think about this, you know, think of the downward spiral, right? You do bad things, bad things end up, you get arrested or something stupid, right? Upward spiral, we're going to focus on this. And so to make 300K, we're going to start with the upward spiral. How's the upward spiral work? It works pretty simple. Start marketing more. Once you start marketing more, it's going to lead you to getting more leads. And once you get more leads, you're going to be able to give more offers to those sellers because they're going to be qualified leads. The more offers you make turn into the more contracts get signed that are accepted. The more contracts you get, you can sell those more to cash buyers. And the more cash buyers that sign your assignment agreements, boom, that ends up to more closings and more closings equal more money. So we have to focus on the upward spiral when it comes to making $300,000 a year. And how do we do this? How do we start the upward spiral? It all comes down to marketing. So that brings us to marketing. So the, the whole goal of this challenge is create a massive amount of momentum. So for you to be able to write 100 offers, we need to get your marketing ramped up. So most people making $300,000 plus, they're gonna rely on some proven strategies to scale their wholesaling business. And I'll run through, I'm gonna use examples of what we do in our business and ideas that you can use as well. So the first one is direct mail. You guys know how I feel like direct mail. I've always, I did it after I figured out my first six months of wholesaling and it's just a solicitation you put out there. We have proven systems on how to do it. Go over to mailingmastery.com. We'll show you how to do it. But you can leverage this marketing medium by getting inbound marketing calls. And from there, you're just qualifying the sellers. And what you can do is you can spread a net out much further and you can scale your operations. This is phenomenal for the one person operation because you can control your ability to win and where to reach out to the customers. So take a look at that and we have plenty of tools. That. The next one is one you guys are quite familiar with is going to be cold calling and cold calling. You got to do a massive amount of cold calling. So you are going to have to skip trace those. You skip trace those numbers. And this is a quantity game. You're going to disqualify more people than you qualify. So you have to know that going into the game. So you have to be extremely consistent. You have to come up with a schedule and you have to be relentless. So if your goal is to make 300 calls a day or 500, stick to it. Even when you don't feel like doing it, you have to do it. See, if you do things when you feel like it, you're never going to get anything done. The difference between an achiever and a person that doesn't get anything done is if one does by emotion, how they feel that day. The other one says, I'm doing this no matter what. You have to become that person. The last marketing medium that we talk about is basically SMS. And this is a great way to scale your effect in your marketing. Once again, for you single operators, it's perfect. You got to figure out your marketing message and you got to vary it up so you don't get caught up in the spam. But you have the ability to push one button, send out thousands of texts. Remember, your goal is to convert them to a phone call. You cannot close them via text. That is a rarity. And so understand when you get them on there, find an excuse to get them on the phone. Once you get them on the phone, go through your normal qualifying process, MCTP and move your business forward. See, by using all three of these marketing channels, it's actually very easy to scale your wholesaling operations to get to just 300,000. And most people who use these three marketing mediums are well past the $300,000 mark. Yeah, I, I agree. So I would say most wholesalers making over 300K, over 80% are doing those three marketing mediums. And guess which ones that we use? We use those three, obviously. Mm -hmm. And we do other ones, but what I could tell you is, those are the biggest marketing channels you're going to do if you're going to make that up because it's easier to scale up doing operations like that, especially as a solopreneur or someone doing it by yourself or someone with a team. It's just they're a lot easier to do than the other type of strategies out here. On top of that, you might be like, okay, Zach, I know what the best channels are, but like, what are the top lists? And remember with marketing, it's like fishing, right? You have the rod and reel, and then you got the bait. If you have really bad bait, no one's going to catch it, but even the best bait, but you have a terrible rod and it snaps in half, you're not gonna catch the fish. You gotta get the best of both worlds, right? And so this being said, we gotta get the right lists. Mm -hmm. So the right lists are nothing without the right marketing channel and vice versa. So what are the top lists? I could tell you when you're doing $300,000 plus a year, you're not gonna do five leads a week, right? Like you're, you're, it's big volume stuff, okay? Like this is big boy numbers, this, this is big stuff we gotta do. So the number one where most people are gonna get them just from paid lists, right? These are lists like listria.com, propstream, or zackdata.com, batch leads. And I can tell you, you have to get the best quality data. If you're using a 
free list service to go pull vacant leads or something like that, you're getting trash data. Every single type of free vacant list or free uh, list out here for high equity, these are trash leads because these data companies aren't putting millions of dollars into those type of lists to make it the best possible you can get. And if you cheap out on like a hundred bucks on a five, $6,000 skip tracing bill or a huge direct mail campaign, you are probably missing out on 25 to 30% of deals. I've seen it everywhere. These free list services pop up all the time. Yeah. When you cheap out on the data, you are cheaping out on your results. You got to get the best data possible. And this is why I always recommend you use something like PropStream or Batch Leads because they pour the most money into getting the best data possible. This is why I've seen so many people, they cheap out on skip tracing. They don't want to get the 12 cent skip tracing on PropStream. They want to go and get the three cent Fiverr guy. Guys, for anyone that's ever tried TruePeopleSearch.com and then tried a batch lead skip tracing list, you'll find you do double the amount of deals just using the paid skip tracing than with the free people because the quality of data is so much better. And when you get quality data, you get a lot better sellers and a lot better leads. So these are gonna be like the vacant lists, the high equities, the liens, the stack lists, the zombie properties list, the pre-probates, all these type of lists you can pull from PropStream and batch leads. These are gonna be the top lists you can be going after. So if you wanna try them out, just do it for free. Just go to listrei.com or zachday.com. And again, we have tutorials at freelsing.com how to do this. On top of that, I highly recommend you go after the government lists. Okay. These are lists you get from the government that cost absolutely nothing. They're zero dollars. That's how much it costs to get a government list absolutely for free. These are the code violations, probates, water shutoffs, fire damage properties, tax delinquencies. These are amazing lists, even tired landlords from the evictions, arrest record list. These lists go on and on and on pre foreclosures, yada, yada, yada. Right. And on top of that, I would add some reverse drying for dollars and drying for dollars on there. Uh, if you can, if you mix all these together, you're going to have the marketing it takes to become successful. And remember guys, these free lists, the government lists, don't mix them up with the other lists that I was talking about there. If you can go direct to your county source, your city, whatever it is to get these government lists, you know they're good lists. So they're worth investing. Now they're not really free if you think about it because you've got to invest your time and your energy and you're going to have to overcome a lot of resistance with persistence. Those are quality free lists. You have to work to get them. It's when someone goes here, push a button, here's the information, even though you get it free and I'm all about anything free. If it's not good and you invest 20 hours in cold calling and then you invest another 500 in skip tracing, you find out that data is no good. That is the farthest thing from a free list. So I don't trust data sources unless I've gotten deals from them and they're a reliable, reputable company. I like to find the biggest, baddest companies because they spend the most amount of money, offer the best service. So make sure your free government list, those by far are the best ones. And then you can use these paid subscriptions we talk about. But remember, free is not always free. You have to understand what you're getting. And remember, your list is going to dictate the outcome of any of your marketing campaigns. If you start with a bad list, you have no shot. So be very careful where you get your information from. Exactly. And remember guys, this is a volume game, not just volume on your marketing, but volume on your follow-ups, volume on your appointments, volume on talking to cash buyers. Everything has to have more volume. That is how you're going to be able to make over $300,000 per year. That's the biggest difference I can tell anybody from a guy making 50 K a year in wholesaling to hundred K a year in wholesaling to half a million to a million, even us in the multiple millions in wholesaling real estate, the difference between us and the average person is volume. It's not that we're just better closers. It's volume, right? It's volume. all about the volume game. So remember that guys, if you want to become successful, increase your volume. And the last part here is dispositions, cash buyers, having the right cash buyers list is absolutely essential this year. This is why I have a very simple rule. Talk to at minimum five buyers a week, have contacts, five new buyers every single week. If you do that, They'll keep the bad deals away from you and you'll get plenty of great cash buyers for your deals and you'll become successful. Last part here is what schedule should I do on this? I always recommend a three, one, one approach, basically three hours. You're going to dedicate towards marketing one hour towards appointments, acquisitions, and then one hour on cash buyers. If you follow this approach, you will easily be able to make over $300,000 per year volume consistency. That is the name of the game and make offers. So if you want to make over $300,000 per year, make sure you go to freeholsting.com, learn exactly how to do it. Hop on, take action, and let's get it going. Guys, this is Zach Kinn signing out. Rick Kinn signing out. See you guys soon. Have a blessed one. See you guys.